everybody, it's Alex here from WPEagle.com and I just wanted to do a follow-up video to my last video which was uh, installing a Twitter feed onto your WordPress blog and we installed uh, a plugin and got the feed on there but it didn't look too great so I'm going to go through very quickly using Firebug um, to style areas of your WordPress blog. Uh, I'm going to try and keep it as simple as possible and we're going to go back and style that um, plugin that I installed in the last video. I'll add a link to that video if you haven't seen it. So let's begin. So the first thing you need to do is install the extension Firebug. Now this is for Firefox, so if you haven't got Firefox web browser, you're gonna to need to go and download it. Um, so just Google Firefox, install the browser, and then Google Firebug, and install that too into your browser. And once you've done that, you'll get a little um, button up here. What this allows you to do is inspect a website when you're looking at it and actually look at the code and even make changes on the fly so you can see what effect they have. So let's get started on styling up that widget. So if I go back to um, the test site, which is here, test.wpeagle.com if you want to take a look. And here's the Twitter widget here. Now you can see I've already got Firebug open. I'll close it. Let's just uh, close it so you can see how you open it. To open it, you just click this button up here and you get a panel down there, which we'll look at in a second. So yeah, I've got this uh, Twitter feed, which is great, which is all working in that, but it just looks like a big mess of text at the moment. And I think the main reason for that is that there's no spacing between each tweet. That's a tweet there. And then the next tweet is here and there's no clear spacing. So what we need to do is add a little bit of padding. Now padding is a CSS um, attribute, I believe, and it kind of adds a bit of space around the side of whatever you want to put it around. So the first thing we need to do is fire up Firebug, which we've done by clicking on the icon. Now if you go down here, you get this uh, little inspector tool, I think it's called probably, a uh, little arrow with a thing. And then you can start highlighting areas of, of a website. You see how it's just um, highlighting different elements of the site. And then down here, it then brings up the actual code and the styles over here. So if we come over here and we click on, an, on a tweet, you see that, I think that's a whole tweet. So if I click that, it's gonna bring up the code for that. And there we go. And there's no actual styles applied by the look of it because there's nothing over here with Twitter um, on it. So we're gonna to need to create a new style. I'm gonna right click over here and click add rule. And it creates a little bit of CSS um, for us there. And we can start to add our different attributes within there. So as I say, we wanna add some padding. Now, probably just adding some padding at the bottom. So the padding attributes, as I see, as I start to type it, it gives me some suggestions. What I'm gonna do is go for padding bottom, so it's just gonna add it to the bottom of each one. And then it's in pixels, so let's start with 10 px. And now we can see straight away that there's a little bit of space and it's already starting to look better. So, um, and then we can obviously make it maybe a little bit more space, let's put it up to 15. Yeah, that's looking good. So, now we need to actually apply it for real because this is just a test and it's not actually doing any real change to the website, it's just for us to play around with. So what you need to do is copy this into your um, clipboard, so copy rule declaration, and then you need to log into your um, WordPress dashboard. Now hopefully you've got a theme that has custom CSS um, kind of built into it. If it doesn't, then that's probably another video <laughs> to be fair, because we'll need to create something. But luckily the theme that I'm using, and most good premium themes do include it. So I'm logged into the back end here. I'm going to go into my theme settings, and that'll be different depending on the theme you're using. Uh, this site is using propulsion, so under propulsion, if I go into theme options, uh, and then under styling on this particular theme, if I scroll down, uh, there's this box here which says quick CSS. Now anything I put in here is gonna be applied to the website, so I've got what I just copied from Firebug in my clipboard, and if I right click and select paste, there it is. So before I save changes, I'm just gonna refresh this page, I'm gonna close Firebug, and refresh just so that we can see that you know it's back to as it was. And then if I go here and click Save Changes, all done. And then if we come here and refresh, hopefully that padding has been applied. Simple as that, there we go, that looks better. I'm gonna conclude the tutorial here, I uh, just wanted to keep it short because there is a whole, obviously a whole load of different CSS attributes you could apply. Um, and you know, that would take all day to go through there. Um, but just to give you a, you know, a quick example before I go, if I select that element again, there's our thing, it's already there. I could add something else. So maybe, you know, you wanna make the font bigger, let's go font size. A lot of the CSS things are quite straightforward and if you can't think of what you need to do, then just Google it and I'm sure you'll find what you need. So if we put the font size, we can maybe make it really big and make it like 34. 
And there we go, oh, it looks a bit kind of weird because the line spacing is out. So you could add another one, which is line height and make that bigger. Uh, looks a bit better, but obviously that font's way too big for that area. But you get the idea. I hope you found that useful. If you've got any questions, please post in the comments. And obviously subscribe, like, all the rest of it if you, if you like what I'm doing. And I'll see you soon.